Welcome back to Wolverhampton Civic Hall, where we've got a fair old tussle here between Mark Webster and Raymond Van Barnevel. The 146 checkout really hurt Webster, but he's hanging on in there against this fellow, the five times champion of the world. Webster battling away, just breaking back before the break. 20 top quality legs of darts. And it's Van Barnevelt who has the advantage at 12-8 with a place in the semi-finals of the Grand Slam on the line. Still to come tonight, we have Robert Thornton, winner of the recent World Grand Prix in Dublin, against Phil the Power Taylor. And the winner of that meets the winner of this. Well, Barnevelt still with two breaks of throw in his favour. Only four legs away from the finish line. But John Part. Those four legs can seem so near and yet so far away. Well, and this leg here is, is pretty key. Mark must hold throw. If he is, if he is broken by Raymond here, then it, it doubles the complexity of the situation, even though it's a single leg. So Raymond will have throw, etc., etc. And Raymond knows that. And he's attacking. It's only his third 180 of the match, but he scored well. It doesn't matter. So many 140s. The timing, though, there for that 180. Magnificent. Ten seven 7 win against James Wade. Much talked 60. about. Tonight, not so many headlines. More simply, a superb game to watch. Webster averaging a ton. Barney, 98 and a half. But uh, Webster not really dominating with the throw here. Chance for Barney to get a grip, but he needs a treble. Switching down. Nice no, treble, 17. He's left the 170. Yeah, he's 100 ahead of Mark. Mark, he'd like to get to 130. You feel that's pretty doable when you go to the board. The 170, 140. a little tougher. Need to be perfect. As Raymond will attempt, he's the no, oh, just pulled it left, and he's succeeded in adjusting, getting the big treble 20, a single 19 only, but it's good pressure now on this 130. Needs the ball for a crucial hold of throw. There's the target. Once again, that's probably the second time he's done that. He's just gone to the right of the wire. Well, he's just just missed on a number of doubles where it's cost him not coming back. It's double 18. Didn't cost him another chance this time, though. He needs to clean it up. He needs to hold his throw. It's almost a must. Almost missed the one, but double 12. Double 6. Well, he's had every chance here. Well, well, well. At a crucial stage of the game as well. There's the target for Van Barnevel. He doesn't miss this time. And remarkably, straight after the break, Van Barnevel has broken back. Has three points of throw in his favour. And he's now three legs from the semi-finals. 13-8. Barney leads. Yeah, that, that's the weakest point of the match for Mark Webster really needed that got off the hook even still couldn't convert it Barney only starting with 42 gives Mark an idea maybe he could fight back from that really significant bad turn for him 44 Barney, 42-44. I'm not too sure what to make of that. He should be absolutely pummeling the scores in now after getting that break. He's three legs away from winning. Yeah, he looked puzzled as well, didn't he? Well, that's better. Much more like it. I was just about to say it'd be a good time for a fourth 180 for Barney, but he wavers into the left away from the treble 20, and he's still... With nine darts down, a long way off a finish. 59. No trouble for Webster either. Scrappy leg, this one now. Nine well, 
was a good treble 19, but Barney may just get a little bit of concern that he was well away from the treble 20 there. Twice. Yeah, he's uncomfortable for whatever reason, and he seems to have been uncomfortable the whole match. Uh, and I don't get it, because the score has been pretty decent. Maybe he's just thinking a little too much. Sometimes you don't need to think. You know you need to do. And this is one of those times. At least he's got down to a similar finish to, to Webby. Tangwood leave tops. For a break. 17. Well, he's taken out three top pluses so far. Van Barneveld. Can he make it four? Needs a treble 20. Treble 19 would leave tops. He's still got some work ahead of him. Not there yet. Webster for tops. Dipped well below, needs double 10 now and gets it. He's broken from Barneveld. Well, 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 13-9. Holds here, 13-10. Doubts creeping in. Still a way to go. Oh, fascinating that two legs ago. Mark on his throw. Kind of capitulated a bit, folded up a bit, however you want to put it, at a key time. Raymond had him by the throat, really, and he went missing that last leg on his own throw. 100. 42. And 44 to start. I, I'm still baffled. Webster can't find a trouble now. But the end result being, with, with Marty not being able to play the last leg very well, is it Mark cut off the hook? Very much so. Well, this is better from Van Barneveld now. Yeah, I, I think he's just playing with the pace business, is hurting his game. He's best when he's fired. Them in. 42. Should make most use of his momentum. Yeah, I mean, he has a relaxed throw, but he still has a quick throw, too. Just, this looks like more typical Raymond style. 97. Not results necessarily, but good third. Yeah, the trouble 19 is working quite nicely for Van Barneveld. But this is slack from Mark now, isn't it? So 60. typical of the game, you break your opponent and he can't find a treble anywhere. He's 12 darts in now. Barney looking to set himself up for a finish. That treble 19 works again quite beautifully. 96. Well, let's not underestimate the longer format as well, Nigel. They were playing very short matches through the round robin days. And, you know, a somewhat more significant match in the top 16. But now first to 16, best of 31. That's a long time on stage, and it's a whole different thing than what they've been doing so far. That in itself can maybe be an obstacle. Six starts for Barney to break back immediately. 50. Well, still leaves 63. Are they flagging? Are they finding it tough up there? That's the only explanation I have, is that they're just a little worn Easy. out, a little tired. They need right, to get a second wind of some kind, or third. It's 18. Only double 16 to break it yet again. 47. Well, this is massive now for Webster, isn't it? 107 he needs. He's taken out a 110 earlier. Great start. Seven would leave tops here. Dart at tops to be back in the match. 13 10. Only two breaks between them. Van Barneveld is flagging up there. Three legs from the finish line. Well, this format is the same for the semi final. 140. And so the final, yeah, it's, it's, this is it, this, yep. this, is, this is how we play it now. Yep. Semi-final, quarter-final, semi-final and final, all best of 31 legs, so if they're finding it tough, they better get used to it. Better get used to it. 140. It's almost like you need a second win now, isn't it, John? One. 
Well, a finish like the 107 Mark just took. That energizes you. Positivity. Helps conquer tiredness. Fatigue. But no more breaks scheduled either. So we're playing straight through here now. Yeah, we're run, running on adrenaline now. That's it. That's what you got. 140. Barney on the finish now. Thornton and Taylor standing by, remember, in the practice room. This is nice from Mark Webster. 140. 98.4. Barney up 96.3 now. Travel 17 would leave the ball. Well, 62. now, oh, can Webster take this to go within two legs of Raymond Van Barneveld? Gets the treble, needs the double 18. This would raise the roof, wouldn't it? Huge finishing in the last two legs from Mark Webster. 107 out, now 96 out in the third dart, and that second dart, it was almost off the whole board.